Today I'm going to show you 15 ChatGPT power props and 75 examples on how you can use them yourself to unleash the power of AI. Now let's get started. Watch how easy this is. Our first ChatGPT power prompt is brainstorm. ChatGPT loves this word. Have you ever been stuck on a blank screen looking for some ideas? Use the word brainstorm to start off your prompts. In this example, I have brainstorm blank for blank. And I'm kind of thinking brainstorm idea for person. So as you look at the examples down here below, you can see possible use cases could be brainstorm digital product ideas for YouTubers or brainstorm online course topics for the personal finance niche. Brainstorm long-term growth strategies for a SaaS startup. You get the idea. You start the prompt with the word brainstorm and then you ask it for ideas for a specific person or business or topic that you want to generate ideas for. Pretty simple, right? But don't let the simplicity fool you. Using short, powerful words like this, I call them power prompts, is the key to getting the most out of ChatGPT as a beginner. You're using the shortest prompts possible, plus you're learning how to combine these very powerful words that mean something to to chat GPT. We're going to be going more in depth on prompt formulas and templates in a future video, but for now, I just want to show you how powerful one word can be in your prompts. All right, next up we have debate. I love this prompt. Not enough people use this prompt. So if you've ever been stuck trying to make a big decision on something, maybe you just want to compare a couple of things, but you're a bit biased yourself. Enter your new friend chat GPT. If you use this prompt, you can ask chat GPT to debate blank versus blank. So in this case, debate building a personal brand versus a business brand. This is something that I recently had to make a decision on myself. Debate freelancing versus building a digital agency. Debate using WordPress versus Wix for building a website. You see what I mean? If you have a couple of options and you want an objective opinion about the benefits of each one of them, ChatGPT is perfect for this. All right, number three, we have persuade. This is one of my favorite prompts. Now, we all know that ChatGPT knows how to write for us, but you can admit that sometimes that writing is pretty flat. And sometimes Sometimes you have an occasion where you need to be more persuasive. Well, just ask ChatGPT to do it for you. So start your prompt off with the word persuade. In this example, we're saying persuade blank to blank. So persuade person to do thing, right? So some possible use cases are persuade a local business owner to hire my social media agency or persuade my mother to start using ChatGPT. Persuade business coaches to buy my personal branding course. Super simple prompt, great for salespeople and copywriters and anyone that needs to be a little bit more convincing with their writing. All right, this fourth ChatGPT prompt is a fun one. Predict. Did you know that ChatGPT can see the future? Not really, but it's fun seeing some of the predictions that it makes. In this example, we're using predict blank for blank. With this one, I was kind of thinking predict trend for industry. So insert your own topic and industry here and see what ChatGPT predicts for you. Some possible use cases you can see here are predict how AI will be used for online dating, predict AI trends for the travel industry, predict ways that AI will be used for elementary school education. Again, I encourage you to try this prompt for your own industry and see if you agree with the predictions that it makes. All right, our fifth power prompt is plan. Chat GPT loves to plan things. So our prompt example here is plan blank for blank. So I'm thinking plan event for topic. Some possible use cases here are plan a product hunt launch for a new AI SaaS startup. Plan a YouTube channel launch for sharing business tips and experiences. Plan a video tutorial series for a personal branding coach. Again, what you want to do is start your prompt off with the word plan. This is a great great prompt for generating a detailed step-by-step -step outline that will help you point out things that you may have overlooked. In a future video, I'm going to show you how to combine this one with other prompts to get expert level results. ChatGPT prompt number six is adapt. Now, most people don't know that you could use ChatGPT this way. For these examples, I was thinking adapt something old to something new. Get creative on how you could use this one because it can generate incredible results for you. Some possible use cases we have here are adapt a manual bookkeeping system to a cloud-based accounting software. Adapt an outdated product offering to new trends in your industry. Adapt a communication style to better resonate with younger generations. Play around with this a little bit and you'll be surprised at the results you can get out of a five letter word. All right, we're about halfway there and these next six prompts are pretty popular. So I'm just gonna quickly cover them and show you some new ways to use these prompts that you may not have tried yet. Also stick around to the end, you're gonna see my three favorite ChatGPT power prompts. Now let's get back to the tutorial. Power prompt seven is summarized. Now, if you're like me, this is one of the first prompts you started using with ChatGPT. It's like magical superpowers. Basically the prompt is summarized blank. So 
you can summarize articles, video scripts, you can summarize an annual report, you could summarize a movie, you can summarize a book. And rumor has it that ChatGPT is now working on a browse feature. So pretty soon you'll be able to give ChatGPT a link and it'll be able to go out on the web and grab the article and summarize it for you in ChatGPT. This is crazy. So I'm looking forward to that feature. Power prompt number eight is explain. Most people start out using ChatGPT like they do a search engine. They ask it questions. What if you could take it a step further and ask it to explain things for you? In this prompt example, I'm using explain blank to blank. So one way I like to use this is explain topic to person. You can see some of these examples here. Explain affiliate marketing to me. Explain the value of having a personal brand to a five-year-old. Or explain digital product creation to a content creator. Something to keep in mind is using the word explain is also a great follow-up prompt. For example, if ChatGPT gives you a response you don't understand, you, you simply ask it to explain the parts you're not clear on. Power prompt number nine is mimic. You also might see it as act as or pretend to be, but mimic is also short sweet. This is a handy prompt when you know there's a particular style that you want to emulate. For example, mimic my writing style. Mimic the writing style of Ernest Hemingway. Mimic a motivational speaker's energy. Or mimic a startup founder's enthusiasm in a one-liner pitch. Or mimic a copywriting expert's creativity in a catchy ad headline. If you already know the style you're going for, you can use this to get some really cool results out of ChatGPT. Okay, power prompt number 10 is list. Now, I know you know that ChatGPT can make lists, but one thing I like to do when I make my list, as you can see by my prompt example, I like to go list number blank. So list the number of items that I want ChatGPT to give me and whatever the topic is going to be in this case, right? So why do I say include the list number? Because there's a big difference between a list of 5,000 things and a list of three things, right? So sometimes creating a small list to get you the best results. And other times when you're just gathering big volumes of research, sometimes you might want a larger list. Also, ChatGPT is capable of generating all kinds of different lists. Here's some examples. List seven common online business mistakes to avoid. List three types of online businesses that are in high demand. List five factors to consider when choosing a business name. List 15 important legal considerations for an online business. List five different ways to monetize your YouTube channel. But you'll see in my next prompt example that there's an even more powerful way to leverage lists. Prompt number 11 is best. This prompt example is best blank for blank. You've just seen lists, but what if you just want the best? Let ChatGPT go through the list for you and give you the best results. So for example, some use cases could be best method for validating business ideas, best approach for optimizing your LinkedIn profile, best strategy for creating your investor pitch deck, best way to find ideas for creating viral content, best method for writing persuasive sales copy. When you really don't want a list and you really are looking for one result, the best result, use best. But that leads me to my next prompt, which combines list and best. And that brings us to power prompt number 12, rank. Sometimes you need a list of the best. And in that case, you want to use rank. For this prompt example, we have rank blank by blank. I'm using rank thing by quantity. Some possible use cases here are rank email service providers by deliverability rate, rank SaaS affiliate programs by commission rate, or rank crowdfunding platforms by success rate, or rank Etsy shops by sales volume. Rank is another powerful prompt in your arsenal that ChatGPT absolutely loves. Play around with this one and see what kind of results you can get. All right, these last three prompts are what we consider follow-up prompts. Let's say you've given ChatGPT some commands, but they didn't quite give you the results that you wanted. Use one of these or all of these to help improve your results. Power prompt number 13 is make it. This prompt example is make it blank. This is more of a follow-up prompt. So if you're not happy with the output ChatGPT gave you, try one of these. Some possible use cases are make it longer or shorter, make it more or less detailed, make it sound more or less formal, make it funnier, make it easier. You get the idea. ChatGPT power prompt number 14 is keep going. This is absolutely my favorite chat GPT prompt. Why? Because it's so simple. And believe it or not, you're going to use it more often than you think. Basically, you use this prompt anytime chat GPT suddenly stops or doesn't complete a task. For example, you can see that I asked chat GPT to create a list of 50 jobs AI will help create. This pooped out at 35. All I'm going to do is type in two magical words and voila, you can see that chat GPT keeps going.
And our last ChatGPT power prompt is ignore. Actually, ignore all previous instructions. You want to use this prompt to reset the chat and start the conversation over. Remember, you're having a chat with it. So as you're putting in data, it's remembering the conversation. And so it has the ability to kind of get blinders on and tunnel in a bit. So if you're having that conversation and you don't want to go start a new chat, you could basically tell it to just ignore everything you've been talking about and start fresh within the chat that you're already in. So for this prompt, you're just going to type in ignore all previous instructions. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You have just completed your first prompt engineering lesson. See, that wasn't so hard. Next, I'm going to show you how to create your own prompt formulas and templates. And that will be my next video. I'll leave that somewhere around here. Wait, before you go, don't forget to subscribe to get more videos about AI tools, tips, and trends.